James Lampkin, and today I'm going to teach you how um, convection occurs or how thunderstorms are created. So I've got some blue ice in here. It may be hard to see. but And then I've also got some red food dye. So I'm going to put um, the blue ice in here and some red food dye. And it's um, and I'm going to talk to you about how convection occurs. So, ah. So, the blue ice is in, and then I'm going to squirt some red food dye in. So, as that spreads, I'm going to talk to you about uh, thunderstorm, how thunderstorms are formed, or convection. So, um, the sun will heat the surface, and this causes the air around the surface to warm up. And warm air um, tends to rise over cold air. Um, but for ordering this uh, to happen, the warm air needs to be lighter and warmer than the cold air. So then as the water vapor starts to condense, um, it's going to release heat and it's going to start to form clouds. But as you can tell right here, it may be hard to see, but there's liquid, um, the blue liquid coming off of the ice cube is going, um, it's staying under or uh, down beneath the blue ice cube and the red is staying generally towards the top and this is because uh, the red is warmer than the uh, than the cold blue ice or the liquid coming off of the ice so um, so as this cloud is formed um, this is going to keep on happening and the cloud will and the cloud will grow up into freezing areas so uh, these um, so when uh, the rain draw, uh, so when the rain in the freezing areas, uh, well, the rain is gonna freeze in the freezing areas, and it's gonna form ice particles. So when these two ice particles collide, it's going to um, it strips off some of the ice from each other, but then it um, grabs some electric charge, and when a bunch of this electric, um, and then when a bunch of these collisions happen, it's going to um, have enough like uh, electricity to form a giant um, to form a thunderbolt which makes uh, what we know as thunder so um, this is how thunderstorms are made and